Hey everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here, and with the upcoming launch of Betrayal and the story of the mysterious Kodali, rumours are circulating about what she's been up to since her mysterious disappearance, and whether all is as it seems. In this video, I'm going to explore five theories behind her disappearance, and why Corvus Belly might be choosing to focus on this particular character now. For those unfamiliar, Kodali is the focus of a new graphic novel from Corvus Belli called Betrayal. It's coming out in August, I'm really excited for it and can't wait to see what they've got in store with it. Before her current combined army guys, Kodali was an intelligence offer for the Yu Jing's Yanjing. But while on a doomed mission, she fell into the combined army and was left for dead. Later, an unmistakably Kodali-esque super soldier reappeared under the combined army's banner. To celebrate the launch of Betrayal, which is coming in August, I have rustled up five of my favourite theories on what Kodali's been up to over the last couple of years, and how she went from being a Yujing warrior to a member of the Combined Army. So I've scoured the internet for my favourite theories, and I have compiled them here in this video for you. Let's throw some wild speculation out there and have some fun as to what she might have been up to. Theory number one, she's been turned. Under the hands of the combined army, and after months and months of mind-altering drugs and torture, she's become filled with hatred and twisted and bitter at the abandonment that has led to her torment. Bent by agony and suffering, she's vowed to seek revenge on those that had killed her father and left her to die. By joining with the forces of the evolved intelligence, she brings fiery death to those that left her for dead and ultimately betrayed her. Now, does this resonate well with the title of the manga coming out? betrayal. Who knows? This might be one of my favourite theories, is that she has been warped into serving the combined army by hatred, fear, loathing, whatever you name it, but she is now working with them willingly to take down those that she used to work for. What do you think? Is this plausible? Number two, she's been possessed. Unwillingly, her training and talents were turned to the benefit of the evolved intelligence with mind-controlling technology. Destroying her kin and allies in an otherworldly haze, she's played like a puppet under the powers of the skilled corruptors of the Ur hegemony. So in this one, she has no choice in this betrayal. She is being controlled by the enemy and they have turned one of their enemy's greatest weapons against them. Clever, pretty, pretty clever stuff. Theory number three, she's been cloned. So while the real Kodali lies in suspended animation deep in the recesses of a secret combined army black site, a clone rallies the troops and tears through the enemy while instilling fear into the hearts of all who see her amongst them. Her skill replicated into maybe dozens of proxy warriors. She is nowhere and everywhere at once, never dying, living for an eternity. Is this possible? Is she just being used to spawn potentially dozens of those in her likeness to tear through her enemies and fight for the combined army? Theory number four, she's dead and an impersonator has taken her form. The combined army's forces are littered with shadow warriors. Able to take the form of an enemy and friend, there are theories that the Kodali of the combined army is simply an impersonator that has taken a liking to the former Yujing warrior's form. With a force that is littered with things like the Speculo Killer, is it not reasonable to assume that maybe one of them has just decided that they like the former Tiger Warrior's form and have taken that on and taken it into battle. Now, theory number five, she's undercover. As a master of spies, Kodali could be the puppet master rather than the puppet. Deep undercover and learning more about the EI's demonic machinations, her efforts are close to bearing fruit. If she can keep the ever watchful eye of the EI off her for just a little bit longer. Ever loyal to her Yu Jing kin, and in their debt for welcoming her back after her rogue mission to avenge her father's death, Kodali is making the ultimate sacrifice in emulating her enemy to tear them down from within. Whether she's a shapeshifter, clone, turncoat or spymaster, all will be revealed, maybe, in Corvus Belli's telling of the elusive specialist story soon. What do you think? Do you agree with any of the above or think her story is more simple than that? Put your theories in the comments below and don't forget to grab your copy of Betrayal when it's out to see the full story of Kodali. Like and subscribe for weekly Infinity content and follow me on Instagram if you like occasional posts about half-painted models. Catch you soon.